Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So I decided to take a look at some React jobs. So here we are with ChatGPT. I put the question to it. I said, can you check the web to see the health of React jobs in the US and Canadian market? Perhaps pulling bullet point summary with expected salaries, experience requirements. So uh, React jobs market in the US and Canada remain robust, reflecting the framework's widespread adoption web development. Here's a concise overview. So United States, Job market health, React Jobs, React GS, excuse me, continues to be sought after skill with numerous job postings across various industries. So let's look at some salaries. Expected salaries, junior, one to zero experience, 78 to 88,000. Uh, Mid-level goes from 87 to 97. Senior, 93 to 105. So pretty good, pretty good. Experience requirements. Entry-level basic knowledge of object-oriented languages, Java, Python, C++, familiar. That's weird. You got to see, you got you to gotta know that um, even though GPT is very powerful and it's a, uh, it's a tool that you should leverage, AI, but it makes mistakes. So, for example, it talks about the requirements. It mentions Java, Python, C++. This is silly because React, of course, you need to know your JavaScript. So it should have mentioned JavaScript. Anyhow, a bachelor's degree in computer science and related field helps uh, mid-level of a few years front-end web development experience, strong understanding of UX and design principles, ex experience agile teams, ability to write modern, maintainable code. Notice they didn't mention JavaScript anywhere. <laughs> uh, senior level, familiar with data flows, component-driven architectures, experience building responsive and scalable applications, trouble to, troubleshooting skills, ability to translate business requirements into software design. This is a huge one. The ability to translate business requirements into software design. Business where experience, human experience, uh, is huge. I don't see AI coming in there fast. So in Canada, same same type of thing. Junior seventy eight, one ten, one thirty six. In Canadian dollars, it's one eighty five. Canadian React developers are making a little less than American if you consider the. Uh, the dollar exchange. While the React job market remains healthy, it, it is essential to note that the tech industry is dynamic. Staying updated with the latest trends and continuously enhancing one's skill set can provide a competitive, a con competitive advantage in the evolving landscape derived from these articles here, Reddit, and so on. How about those without a, dis a degree but proven React skills? For developers without a degree, but with proven React JS skills, the job market is still quite promising, particularly for self-taught developers and bootcamp graduates. Here how it works. In the US, job opportunities, many companies prioritize, prioritize, excuse me, experience and portfolio projects over formal educations, especially startups and mid-sized tech firms. So this is something I've been talking about for years now. Larger corporations may still list a degree as preference, but often waive it if the candidate has a strong portfolio. That's a key part. So a friend of mine got a job at uh, one of the fangs, one of the big ones, doing AI research. And he got the job, though, as he told me himself, he failed the coding exam miserably. But because it was clear that he understood the subject, he had very good personal skills, interpersonal skills, they hired him anyway. So even at one of the largest corp corporations in the world with one of the uh, most uh, strict job requirements, they still hired a guy who, and according to his own words, totally failed the coding because they knew who he was. So being able to communicate well has a, plays a big role in terms of uh, getting a job. Uh, salary expectations, no degree, strong skills, 60 to 75,000, 85 to 110, 115 to 140. Experience requirements, having a solid GitHub portfolio with real world projects and, or contributions to open source projects, strong grasp with JavaScript, okay, you mentioned here, modern React, hooks, context, ABA related libraries, experience with REST APIs, GraphQL, state management libraries, Redux, and Zustan. Some familiarity. 
I didn't say that well, but with backend technologies, Node, Firebase is a plus. Challenges. You might, as a self-taught, you might need to apply more aggressively to demonstrate skills for coding call challenges and portfolio projects. Well, I'm going to address that. Networking. This is the key. Networking, freelance, and contract work can help land the first role. That's the key. Networking, contracting, and freelance work. If you're trying to break into any industry, that is what you should do. You should uh, go out there, start talking to people, start networking, offer, offer to do some jobs for free for a few weeks or a few months just to get some real-world experience. I was just talking to somebody today, and she wants to get into social media marketing. Uh, she's got a, a feel for it, I think, but... Um, she, she wants to get into the production, not the production. The, she doesn't want to get into the production end. She wants to get into the management end. And uh, I had recommended her for a job. And she was reluctant to take it because it required a lot of um, production end work. Stuff that she didn't necessarily want to do. But I said, you should do it because you're going to gain some experience there. Gain some reputation. And learn the process. And so that when later on... When you get into your business, even though you don't want to do the videography work or the photography work, because you had done it, at least you'll know what the process is all about. So be able to communicate more effectively and plan out these projects far more effectively having done it yourself. Same thing with coding. Even doing simple contract work on simple, whether it be React.js work or even the simple WordPress installs, just dealing with clients, talking to people, working the game. You got to understand, being a React developer, a Java developer, a WordPress developer, they share so many of the same requirements in terms of the skills and the experiences you're going to have that it doesn't matter what you're really doing. It doesn't matter with those first few contracts, whether you're doing WordPress or React what matters is that you're doing your first few contracts. So you want to get out there, network, re freelance, contract work, very important. Canada, similar thing, similar to the U.S., many employers care more about practical skills than a degree. Tech hubs like Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal offer plenty of React roles, but competition can be strong. Here are salaries. These are Canadian dollars. See, this Canadian dollars, which are like a fraction of the U.S. dollar. So 140000 this is the top end for a senior. And you can get much more, 140,000 plus. So if you're really good, this could go much higher. So 140,000 versus 130. You, you say to yourself, well, that's pretty similar. It's not because the U.S. dollar is 40% uh, more valuable than the Canadian. So if you're making 140,000 U.S., that's significantly more than 130,000 Canadian. Let me ask. Hey, Google, what's 140,000 U.S. in Canadian dollars. 140,000 United States dollars is approximately 199,719 Canadian dollars and 10 cents. So there you go. So actually, so uh, top-end React developers, according to GPT's research as of today, is uh, quite a bit more, $60,000 more than the Canadian max end. At least, you know, don't forget there's a plus here. It's all negotiated. Experience and requirements, solid portfolio with real-world projects, ideally deployed apps. Remember, I always emphasize that one real job, one real project is worth 10 school projects. So uh, you want to get out there in the real world as quickly as possible. Strong understanding of JS fundamentals, React JS fundamentals, TypeScript and responsive design principles, experience with version control, cloud services, etc. Some of the challenges, some employers may filter out candidates without a degree, making networking and referrals even more important. Contract and freelance work can be a good way to gain experience before landing a full-time job, something I've been advocating for the longest time, something I did myself. You want to get into the game as quickly as possible. You don't want to make the mistake of becoming a PERMA student or find yourself in tutorial hell because you're always preparing because you figure, I don't know enough, I don't know enough. You know your basics, your fundamentals, and then you jump into the game. You will learn so much more on the job, building things, than you will studying 
tutorials or reading books or whatever it is or taking courses. You want to just gain, gain the experience. Key strategies to succeed without a degree. Build a strong portfolio, create full stack projects with React, API integration, scalable architecture. Contribute to open source, shows teamwork and problem solving skills. Networking, engage in developer communities, attend meetups, leverage LinkedIn, Twitter 100%. Freelance contract work, a great way to gain experience and references, certifications, Google, Meta, FreeCamp, other offer recognized React related certifications, showcase soft skills, communication, problem solving, and teamwork matter as much as coding skills. Yeah, that is 100%. Something uh, I cited in previous videos where they talk to hiring managers and they put as much weight nearly on communication skills as they do uh, coding skills. Being an agreeable person who can work with others is far more important than whether or not you're really good with algorithms or something. i rather hire a mo moderately good developer who's really good at communication than somebody who's an amazing developer who has bad communication. A big part of the job of being a professional is having good communication skills. So there you have it, React, according to what GPT has found on the web and anecdotally me speaking to people, is still very viable in 2025. You know the route you have to take, whether you have a degree or not. The job market may seem difficult because they are no longer in the frenzied hiring mode that they were in, they being the companies, during COVID. There's been a bit of a return to normalcy. So having your React project that you did from your boot camp or from a Udemy course or a YouTube video is not good enough anymore. It should have never been good enough, in all honesty, because what they found, speaking to people who hire boot camp graduates, that most of these people don't know what they are doing. So how do you become somebody who knows what they are doing? You learn your fundamentals, you go out there and you build real projects for real people, even simple projects, even a WordPress project. Strangely enough, it may sound strange to you, in the early days, it doesn't matter what you're doing, what you're writing code in, as long as you are building some project in code. So even if your goal is to become a React developer, you having done a couple of WordPress jobs is going to help you to become a React developer. I know it doesn't seem uh, to make any sense, but that's because you're a noob. You don't understand. And don't make the mistake that so many other people have made in the past. And don't ever learn Ruby.